Good morning, students. Today we will be learning maths and enhancing our knowledge. So, before starting, let me ask you something. What is this? It is a bowl and it is an empty bowl, right? Okay. Now, what are these? These are markers, different colors, markers. Okay. And what are these? These are ink bottles. Okay. And what are these? These are fountain pen pens ink. Right? Now, this is a bowl. If I keep these ink bottles in the bowl, what it becomes? Ink bottles are inside the bowl. Now, if I put this yellow marker in the bowl, it becomes yellow pen is inside the bowl. If I put this pink pen in the bowl, it becomes pink pen is inside the bowl. If I put this green pen in the bowl, it becomes blue. Uh, green pen is inside the bowl. Now, this refill, I put it in, in the bowl, it becomes inside the bowl. If I put this ink inside the bowl, it becomes inside the bowl. Right? Now, let me take one by one outside. This pink. This pink one is outside the bowl. I have taken it out. That is why this marker is outside the bowl. This green pen now is outside the bowl. This yellow ink, yellow marker is outside the bowl. This red ink is outside the bowl. This blue ink is outside the bowl. This one refill is outside the bowl. The second refill is outside the bowl. So what did we learn students? Inside and outside. Inside and outside. So anything kept in is known as inside and anything kept out is known as outside. So today we will be learning the topic of space. Okay, now we have space. So, now I want to ask this about this and this. Which is the bigger one and which is the smallest one? Which is the smaller one? This one is definitely bigger and this one is definitely smaller. So, it is the bigger one. It is the smaller one. We, we have defined bigger and smaller by looking at its sizes, right? So, what did we learn students now? We learned bigger and smaller. Right? Now, if I ask you about the refill and the marker which we had taken previously. So, which is the bigger one in this and which is the smaller one? Yes, very good. This is the bigger one. This is the smaller one. Very good. Now, if I make two or three shapes in front of you, can you tell me which is the bigger one and which is the smaller one? Okay, yes. You will be giving me the answer and I'll be marking the tick mark, right? So, if I have these two balloons, which is the bigger one and which is the smaller one? Very good. This is the bigger one and this is the Smaller one. Very good. So we will write big B for bigger and S for smaller. Very good. Now tell me in this in these two figures which is the bigger one and which is the smaller one. Very good. The second one is bigger one. The first one is smaller one. So what we have learned now. One is uh, one is bigger and one is smaller. The thing with si uh, whose size is comparatively bigger than the other one is known as bigger and the smaller one is smaller. Right. Now, let us learn the biggest and smallest. Yes, we will learn biggest 
and smallest. See, how does this B is being compared? See, I have this stopner, I have this marker, okay, and I have this refill, right. So, which is the bigger one in these three? Obviously, this, this marker is the biggest one, that is why. And which is the smallest one in this? This refill. So, this is the smallest. So, I am going to draw, draw something and you have to answer which is the biggest one and which is the smallest one. So, see. These are tomatoes. Which is the biggest one in these three? Yes. This is the biggest one. Which is the smallest one? Yes. This is the smallest one. Very good students. You are learning very fast. And I am very impressed with you. Okay. So tell me one more time. Which is the biggest one? And which is the smallest one? Tell me in these, which is the biggest one, which is the biggest tree and which is the smallest tree? Very good. The second one is biggest tree and the third one is smallest tree. Very well done students. Now, next thing is, 